This video will cover the topic solving a quadratic equation using the square root property exact answers advanced. For this topic we will use the example problem x plus 6 squared minus 12 equals 0. Are there formulas that we should use when trying to solve this problem? In fact we do have a formula that we will be using to solve this problem. In this case we will start off with the equation a squared equals n. From here we are going to find the square root of both sides which results in a equals square root of n. Now remember that when we take the square root of a variable there will be two solutions as our result. This means that our results are a equals positive square root of n and a equals negative square root of n. How will this method apply to solving the problem? We will use the same principles as with our last example in order to solve this problem. For our first step we will add 12 to both sides in order to move 12 to the other side of our function. This results in x plus 6 squared equals 12. Next we will square root both sides which results in x plus 6 equals positive or negative square root of 12. Next we will simplify our square root. We can break down 12 into 4 times 3. Since the square root of 4 is 2, this means that our square root can be simplified to 2 times square root of 3. We now have x plus 6 equals positive or negative 2 times square root of 3. Our last step is to isolate our x variable by subtracting 6 from both sides which results in x equals negative 6 plus or minus 2 times square root of 3. This results in our final answer of x equals negative 6 plus 2 times square root of 3 and x equals negative 6 minus 2 times square root of 3. Is there a case where we will have a problem that contains a number that is a perfect square? In this topic you will encounter some problems that contain perfect squares. One example of those type of problems would be y minus 9 squared minus 36 equals 0. We will start off the same way we started off with the last problem by adding 36 to both sides in order to move 36 to the other side of our function. Next we take the square root of both sides which results in y minus 9 equals positive or negative square root of 36. Since 36 is a perfect square it can be simplified to a whole number which in this case is 6. This results in y minus 9 equals positive or negative 6. Now we can find the answer by adding 9 to both sides which results in y equals 9 plus or minus 6. Our final result is y equals 9 plus 6 which equals 15 and y equals 9 minus 6 which equals 3. I think I'm starting to understand the topic but let me summarize just to make sure. First we will take the square root of both sides in order to remove the exponent. Next we will simplify our square root and then we will isolate the x variable in order to find our final answer. 